Hi, this is Phil Hartman with PH Fabrication, Horton Race Cars. Just wanted to give you guys a weekly shop update. Hope everyone's doing well. I do apologize for being a little delayed on the weekly shop updates. Um, things have just gotten really busy here and and usually I run out of time in the mornings to do them. But um, I will uh, try to get better on that. Also, I do want to give a shout out to uh, all of our uh, military service men and women. Thank you for your service. Hope you guys all had a great Memorial Day weekend. Um, I hope you, everyone else had a good Memorial Day weekend also and uh, thought about what Memorial Day is all about. Well, with that being said, let's uh, start, kick off our Tuesday with uh, this Corvette. So the Corvette came in needing a tunnel built for the drive shaft and a new tunnel for the transmission. Now this uh, Corvette has a different engine and transmission combination. So you can see we got the tunnel in place and then we've got these humps here before you get to the transmission. And these will actually cover the new exhaust system that comes alongside the transmission, goes through the frame, and then out the back. So everything's kind of roughed in. Still have to get the transmission cover roughed in. But all in all, it's uh, turning out pretty nice. Over here, we've got the front engine dragster. Uh, basically, it came in for some updates. Um, we had to do a little work to the body, uh, make a new windscreen, a new, built a new seat, actually lowered the seat so that way the driver had a little bit more room between the roll cage and his helmet. Um, before, when he sat in the car, he was basically up against the roll cage with his helmet. So we actually lowered him in the, in the car about two more inches, so that would give him some room. Also added the bars coming out all these are for is just to make it easier for the driver to get out um, without those you just, your arms just try to slide down the roll cage also did a little modifications to the body you know just cleaned up added a lip um, to seal around the uh, firewall and then we do have our fire bottle mounts but um, waiting on the fire bottle kit coming from uh, good vibrations out in california so hopefully uh Thursday that'll be here and we'll be able to finish this car up and get it back to the customer. Back in the far shop here, we've got the Ford Lightning. And yes, the Ford Lightning is on the ground. So able to get some measurements pulled off the body and uh, got our jig fixtured up and uh, waiting on a few parts and pieces so that we can really get after it. But you can see we've got our wheelbase set our rear end height is set. We do not have the rear end cap ends yet, just because that'll be one of the last things we do once we get the chassis built. But we got the full adjustable four link. And then uh, up here we got Strange Engineering um, GT front struts. So like I said, everything's fixtured up. Ride height is fixtured up, um, wheelbase, but just have, uh, have a few parts that we're waiting on and then we'll start laying up some tubing. Looking forward to getting onto this project. Um, it's gonna be a, a big project, so please uh, follow the weekly shop updates and uh, I'll try to keep everything updated on uh, Instagram also and uh, go from there. Well, that is it for the weekly shop update. Hope you guys all had a, a great weekend and I hope you guys have a great week. Do wanna give a shout out to Bailey Industrial, Feronius Welders, Hypotherm Plasma Cutters, Edwards Iron Workers, Cleveland Punch and Die, uh, TMS Titanium, uh, Racing Junk, uh, Strong Hand Tools, uh, Eastwood uh, Tools, and uh, Woodward Fab Tools. I appreciate everything you guys do for uh, PH Fabrication, and I will talk to you guys all next week. Thank you. Bye.